Well, we're going back to 1995 tonight in our microburst coverage. Channel 7 did a half hour special during that time, and I wanted to show you a few of the reports from that program. Hello, I'm Diane Rutherford. It's being called the storm of the decade. At 4.30 in the morning this past Saturday, many people throughout the area received a rude awakening. It was a day of assessing damage and cleaning up. The powerful winds snapped trees in half like they were twigs. Telephone and power lines were severed like string. On Flower Avenue East in Watertown, a tree crashed through the roof of this home, trapping Eldridge Johnson's wife and daughter inside. Meanwhile, in the town of Antwerp, about 50 head of cattle are believed to have died when high winds caused the roof of this barn to collapse. Volunteers rushed to the Frank Payne farm to save the animals. However, only 25 cows made it out alive. The rest were trapped under hundreds of bales of hay. The owner is said to be devastated. He's worked all his life to develop this farm, and uh, at a point like this to just see everything falling apart in front of you, it's even slower than fire. Even the community's memory tree fell victim to Mother Nature's summer fury. Local residents say the cleanup efforts will last several days, but the locals are pulling together and say they'll make the best of the situation until then. And even though the memory tree is now gone, another will probably take its place. But the memory of this storm and its devastation will never be forgotten. In Star Lake, John Fryot, News Site 7. What happened here at Can-Am is really indicative of the strange path this storm took. For example, I'm standing in the main office of Can-Am Speedway. Obviously, it's turned inside out. Right down in front of me is the video booth that was ripped from the roof of this building during the storm. And yet, if you look out toward the advertising billboards, they are relatively unscathed. They're all still standing. Diane Rutherford. John Fryatt and Elisa Mara. They're reporting on the microburst of 95 during that half hour special that Channel 7 put together uh, right after, it was a few days after the microburst, in fact, that that was put together. So quick work by those folks, and uh, it was fun to look back at that, and we hope that you've enjoyed looking back as well. We will look